What I love most about our residency program is that we have the opportunity to provide an amazing training environment for our residents in the midst of Houston, which is the most diverse city in the entire country. My name is Jennifer Swales, and I'm the Internal Medicine Residency Program Director here at McGovern Medical School. It feels like the residency is really resident driven. Our chiefs have done an incredible job of making sure that we as current residents have our voices heard. Not only do I feel like my level of training that I would be able to obtain here would not only be sufficient, but would just really help mold me into the internist that I wanted to be, but also with good people. It's, it's just an environment that, that listens and affirms and they actually care about the residents. We're very open. They know your name. They ask you how you're doing. Um, if you have any concerns, how everything's going. The faculty are wonderful. Um, they're very teaching oriented, which is which was one of my priorities for finding a program like UT Houston. They're always looking for how they can best support you in whatever level you're at. Every single chief that I met, every single current resident that I met, uh, just seemed so genuine, and not just in their demeanor and their personality, but also in their you know affection and admiration for the program, you know, for UT Houston. I like that UT has a lot of variety in terms of our clinical sites and our exposure. I think that gives us a lot of um, experiences and um, allows us to have a, a variety in terms of our, our clinical exposure. We're able to rotate through four different hospitals, each of which offers a very unique training environment. I think LBJ is especially near and dear to our heart. It's a community-based hospital, but we have the level of acuity and autonomy of the very best teaching hospitals in the country. We also have Memorial Hermann, which is a classic ivory tower institution where we get to help patients by using some of the technologies that are at the very cutting edge. Similarly, the VA is one of the largest, if not the largest, VA hospitals in the entire country. And then MD Anderson is widely recognized as the largest and likely best cancer center in the, in the world. So, you know, by rotating at these different institutions, our residents get the broad clinical training that they need, but possibly even more importantly, they're able to access mentorship and also to help them make the, the connections that they need to get into those career paths. I love Houston. There's such a diversity of people, of food, and things to you know find, whether it's museums, food festivals, and things like that. I love it, and I think anyone who comes here quickly finds out what makes Houston so great. We are the most diverse city in the United States. That's something I can't understate if that's something that you do value and want as your residency experience. Even though it's a city, there's a lot of beautiful public parks that we have here for you know walking trails, running trails, biking trails. So the Texas Medical Center is basically a city dedicated to medicine. When you drive up to it, it looks like it has its own skyline. You get exposed to a lot of different pathologies. It was astounding coming in as an intern, the referrals that we get from people that come all over the world. Of course, that's an amazing learning opportunity. That proximity of the clinical expertise, the research expertise, and the medical education expertise is really the big benefit of the Texas Medical Center. You get to really train among people that are at the forefront um, of various fields, whether it's in critical care, in oncology, or cardiology, you get to see what's being done in terms of innovations in care while kind of cementing what your fundamentals are in, in properly caring for a patient. There are abundant research opportunities in any subspecialty that a resident would be interested in. We have attendings that are conducting groundbreaking research and I think the ability for us as current residents to work with them on a daily basis, really benefiting from their expertise with them being truly experts in their field is something that's really incredible. Regardless of what you're interested in, whether it's primary care on the hospital side or on the outpatient side, whether it's a specialty, a fellowship that you're wanting to pursue, um, the faculty are always ready to help get you set up with good projects, with good um, opportunities for you to get your feet wet with research. We're also leaders in quality improvement. Every resident is involved in a quality improvement project every year, which is then presented at the QI Fair, and then oftentimes also presented nationally. Another piece of scholarship, in addition to research and QI, is in medical education. And you know we're very fortunate that we are attached to a large, large medical school that highly values education. We really try to be as intentional as possible about 
taking care of our trainees while they're here. We understand that in order to become a great doctor, you have to work hard. At the same time, it's important that afterwards you take that time to step back. We created a schedule. It's a four plus two plus two block system. When residents do a four week block of ICU or wards, afterwards they have four weeks of something that's a more relaxed service where they don't take primary responsibility for a patient. It's going to be two weeks of a consult service, some sort of subspecialty, and then two weeks of ambulatory. And while they're on ambulatory, they get two protected weekends off, which is two days in a row off together, which is a wonderful thing so that they can, you know, go to a wedding, go camping, see their families. With this structure, we're able to have doctors who have the outstanding training that they deserve while also remain, you know, holding onto the humanity that our patients really expect from us. We're residents and the primary task at hand is patient care uh, as well as learning. But additionally, at the end of the day, we're all people. If there are problems with your schedule, if you know, if you're seeing like, hey, I, I have this, I have step three or I have this, this major event coming up and I know like I'm scheduled for this based off of this, but is there any way I, they're always amenable. I really think people should come here because of the people, the opportunities for clinical training here in the Texas Medical Center, and the opportunities to further their career. We are always looking to make positive changes and making sure that we're the best internal medicine program that we can be. Our program, our residents, um, you can really you know, feel the sense of commitment that we feel to the pa patient population out there. And I think it's what sets us apart. When I look back on this experience, I, I know that I made the right decision. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. And I'm gonna carry this experience and this learning with me for the rest of my days, not just professionally, but personally too. I've really found my, my people over here at UT. And so um, I really love being here because of that reason.